Okay, first, come on, let's get an off early one, yeah? Adrian, make sure you lead. Lead them. Talk. And we're underway back at Shepparton Sports City here at the AFS Shepparton Cup. Here in front of us today we have an under 10 copper match between Doreen United and Altona North Soccer Club. So early doors, Doreen in the green strip, of course Altona North in the navy blue. Here comes Jaden Jacob, ball forward, and a roll through to Oliver Moore. Slings it forward. That's one there well by Keanu LaRue. Still going as the industrious number 15 for Altoona North. Skips inside. It's just miscontrolled through the middle. Adrian Andrevsky pushes it forward. And now Altoona North. Here goes Tariq Masood. Intervening was the 18. Kai Fulgrave for Doreen. And now Doreen on the break. Here comes Cruz. Ruler Davies. It's well defended there. He thought about awarding it and he has called. And we're just waiting to see. Well, it's either right on the edge of the box or in fact a penalty. Looks like it will be a free kick just on the edge of the box here for Doreen United. So it looks like it's going to be the number 10, Adrian Amdreski, stepping over this one. He's got 13, Arnold Pardell, for support. Here comes Doreen. Flick towards Andrewski. Touch inside. Oh, and that's given away now. It's a foot race here between Daniel and the number 17, Destan Mamishi. It's won by Daniel and pushed up ahead. Oliver Moore with the touch and looks to chase it up the line. Mamishi, he's been an early threat for Altona North, but ball one away. Marula Davies plays it across. Oh, that was good work there by Rykowski. Well defended by Altona North. And here come the side and blue through Diamantopoulos. Feeds it down the line. Mamishi still going. Oh, it's dealt with there by Doreen United. And then a roll out. For a throw in, that'll be the way of Altona North. So, from these two sides, Doreen United have just played the one game, a draw. It came nil all in its previous fixture, Altona North. Well, they lost out 3-2 in their first encounter of the afternoon and tournament. And they sit bottom of Group B in the under-10 copper division. Oh, that's well cut out there. Full grave. Still going full grave. It's 18 on 18. Full grave will go back. Calling in the middle is Pardell. Just rolls it over his foot. Keeps possession. Well done. All the way back to Moore in the 23. He'll slide it forward. That's a crafty ball there. Nice little one too. Rula Davies. He's looked at live wire early on in this clash. Altona North just looking to push things out from the back now. Here they go. Track back, Anna. Track back. Track back. Oh, it was... Marginal stuff, Diamantopoulos. He looked to have kept possession, but that one has rolled over the line and out for a Doreen United throw. Well done, Cruz. Well done, boys. Come on, save. Switch on. Let's go. Keep working. 
Well, flipped forward. Dim Antopoulos again. Andrevsky with the push and shove, and that'll be a foul going the way of Altona North. Touch around the bend. Sombinopoulos still on it. Looks to go out right, but that's intercepted by Doreen. Few numbers around the ball, but cleared forward. Daniel with the flick and eventually punched ahead by Saita. So one thing both sides need to probably account for in this afternoon fixture as the wind in Shepparton has picked up significantly. Once you send that ball into the air, there's really no telling where it could drop. But with the wind, there's also come the sun. We're very thankful to see it rear its head as the afternoon has gone on. Certainly not what you'd define a warm afternoon in Shepparton. It's that wind that's really bringing a hint of chill to the air, but not all too displeasant either. So Doreen has a player on the ground. We're not too sure, but we'll just have a minor breaking play here as the player on the ground is seen to. So Arnav Podell will get back to his feet, just apply a bit of water to the face and hands, perhaps come off for a light breather. As we'll resume play in just an instant, it'll be an Altona throw on the far hand side. So no score yet, of course, not too many high scoring games, of course. One of the main ones was a nine goal victory seen in one of the previous games this afternoon. So far, no side either to split the difference in this one. So here come Altona North. That's a late tackle there by Fulgrave. And Altona North here with a free kick just inside the Doreen United half. Ball towards the back post. Lurking is the number 24. Great feet there by Sombinopoulos. Squares it back. It's got to be dealt with. 17. Well, shout to handball. It's anyone's at the moment. And eventually cleared out by Doreen United, much to the applause of the coaches. Good feet there. Lovely feet there. Andrewski, that's lost out there by Keenan. Anthony Pillai, he's battling hard in the middle. That will be a foul. Conceded by Doreen. And just getting a little bit scrappy in this under-10s copper group stage match. So, Navy Blue to restart from inside their own half. Well, it's missed kick there by Doreen, but rolls into the hands of the goalkeeper, Mason Glyphsis. Moore. Oh, it's one high up the pitch here by Altona North. Just ping-pongs off a couple and out for a throw-in. Behind him, behind him. 
Cleared now. Daniel will give chase for Doreen. It's the new substitute for Altona North, Danny Kristevsky. He keeps the ball for the side in blue. Masood looks to poke it towards the danger area. Still on the ball. It's fired around and that's in. And the opening goal goes the way of Altona North. It looks like it was number 16, Tariq Masood, to poke it home. And that'll put the side currently on the bottom of the under 10 Copper Group B ladder. Up a couple of pegs if the game was to finish in this exact manner. We're back underway. Here's Doreen on the ball. Shifted inside and launch forward. Picked off. And that's a strike. Jeez, that one was hit with plenty of venom. Wasn't far away from the target, but nonetheless will roll out for a Doreen United goal kick. So with a minor break in play, we will just cover off the bases of this 2023 AFS Shepparton Cup. 225 teams, three, well not three, even more, 538 if you will, games played across the three days of action. We're a good chunk of the way through the Saturday, day two. And of course, tomorrow will be the big event with all the finals played throughout the afternoon and evening. Games being played across more than 30 pitches here at Shepparton Sports City and, of course, the secondary venue, Marupna, just across the causeway. Just a hive of action and good luck getting a table in Shepparton tonight. I think it'll be a bit of a hard task as thousands have flooded to Shepparton and the Greater Goulburn Valley for this three-day footballing epic. Sombonopoulos spreads it across to Kristevsky. He'll further it down the line towards Matteo Morales, who goes inside. Oh, it was just one more pass that needed to be played. Eventually does. Oh, and that's misjudged there by Sombonopoulos. And out for a Doreen United goal kick. So, Doreen back on the ball here, looking to drive their way up the field. Just not quite getting any joy. And exactly halfway through the group pool games from under 10 copper. So far, it's looking like Altona North will steal the spoils here. And one goal to the good at the moment. Can they double that up? There goes Morales down the right. It's a good challenge there. So Danny Kristevsky right at the back here for Altona North. Gets his wise cross and that'll roll back down for a Doreen United throw. So a bit of urgency demanded out of the side from the Doreen United coaches. They know they've got to produce something and something fast at that to get back into this game. It'll be a long-range effort. That won't, won't be troubling the goalkeeper and Cruiser Pup. So just a couple of minutes left in this first half. Altona North have the one goal buffer. They'll be looking to hold on to that right until the referee's whistle. Oh, that one's given away. Push forward, but... Doreen United just really lacking that 
Out and out, number nine. Oh, good feet work there by Mateo Morales, but he loses out. That's another free kick there. So Doreen, another chance to load the box and throw some bodies forward to apply a bit of pressure on the Altona North goal. So, Mason Saita, just inside the opposition half, gets plenty of purchase on the connection. And a fall out to Morales for Altona North. Looks to skip past one, and Doreen make the challenge. So, can't imagine there'd be too much longer left in this first half. The referee just looking to proceed things on a bit, get the ball back in play as Altona North are taking their sweet time. Rightly so. Full grape. Still battling hard, but eventually Morales comes away with the ball. Referee waves play on, and Doreen will hook it up towards the center of the pitch. That's a better connection. Gives David something to chase. Diamantopoulos, there they go, so Petkovsky into Jacob, and up in arms, it looks like it might be a drop ball, So, referee just <laughs> letting it known that he doesn't want anyone injured in his game. That's fair enough. Altona North, they weren't too happy with the call, but nonetheless, play goes on. Lovely run down the right, sorry, the left by Demandopoulos. Flicks it across. Oh, just no connection there. Morales on the left, goes for goal. What a save. Still, it was the follow up. And there's the second for Altona North. Good strike, good save, but. It was that man, number 17, Destin Mamishi, alert at the back post to knock it home just before the half to push the side and blue two goals ahead. Play back underway. Doreen now. Good spin and... There goes the referee's whistle. So, heading into the break, Altona North will take a 2 0 lead. Plenty of work to be done by Doreen, but we'll take a short break and catch you in the second half.
And here we go again for the second half of this under 10 copper match between Doreen United and Altona North Soccer Club in the AFS Shepparton Cup. Altona North head into this second half, two goals to the good. They were the better of the two sides in the first half, but Doreen United not without their own chances. Oscar Szymanovic gets the ball back. Look to play things around from the back. Cruz the pup. Gives it back. Szymanovic seeing plenty of the ball early on in this second half. That's deflected down. Pushed out wide. That'll only go as far as Mateo Morales. That's a handy ball. Mamishi. First time shot. Good save. Following in is Mamishi, but good second effort from Mason Gluftis to keep things away. Morales goes for the strike. Gee whiz. Right idea from the little number 23. He got right up and under it. Just didn't quite have the direction. So Doreen looks like they might have the wind. Ball up in the air. Good flick around the corner by Andrevsky. And he's calling for handball is the number 10. And handball he shall receive. Andrevsky. Right up and under. Oh, bouncing ball towards the back stick. There's a couple of green shirts around it. But no one really attacking it. Szymanovic. High, but headed away by Doreen. Back to Szymanovic. Now Anthony Pillai goes forward. Now Andreski. Good stop and turn. Little flick. I don't mind that, but to no avail. Instead, Full Grey will look to punch it towards the net, but that'll roll out for an Altona North goal kick. Down the line, Altona North driving inside. Big tackle laid by Doreen. Little give and go. Real Davies still going. Oh, it's not cleared. Andreski goes for goal and shoots and scores. Adrian Andreski. Well, that was near perfect, right into the top end corner. Nothing that Cruiser Pup could really do about it. And that just brings this game back into contention for Doreen United. 2 1 now. And a real sniff of digging out a result from this one. Anthony Pillai cuts inside. Here's the goal scorer, Adrian Andreski. That'll be a free kick for handball. And possession back the way of Altona North. Morales. Lovely little flick. It just bounces off the head of Fulgrave and the head of will mean the ball goes back to Altona North, this time through Anthony Pillai. Down the line. Headed away. Here he is. Oh, he's had his pocket pick there. Full grape. Goes inside. Andrewski. Oh, it's well cut out there. Oh, well, that was a stop that had to be made by Kieran Jaden Jacob. Earlier, Davies just looks to prod it out wide, but not enough green shirts around the ball. There's about 10 minutes remaining in this one. All to play for on the side from northwest Melbourne. Sorry, northeast. Good feet, Morales. Still going as Morales, the 23. Can't find his pass. Instead goes to Diamantopoulos. Here he goes. Diamantopoulos. He's got a pass on. Plays it forward but is chopped in the process. Didn't look like there was any malice in the tackle. But he has caught him and it will be a foul. It 
So referee will just walk out the wall, make sure it's all in order as Altona North gears up to flick in this free kick. Looks like it might be George Sombinopoulos, the number 24. He's standing over it. Flicks it forward. Shot on goal deflected by Doreen. Chance to counter. Full grape. Still going full grape. It's got numbers. Can he get one more on it? Oh, it's a last ditch tackle there by Sizmanovic. Executed to perfection. That's hooked around the corner, Andrzejewski. Here he is. Ruler Davies cuts inside. Good feed. And what a save. And it's poked home. Fulgrave is the hero, and that's a goal. Doreen goes absolutely bonkers here on the sideline, and he can tell exactly what that goal means. Well, it's restored parity, and much to the discontent of Altona North, the scores have been levels, all to play for. Oh, that was a very crafty goal manufactured there by Doreen United. A ball hooked over the top. It was the cut inside by Ruler Davies. Struck on goal. A great save there from a Pat, but then mopping up and gobbling up the scraps was none other than Kai Fulgrave. And now the scores read to all. Altona North. Oh. Not happy. They're pushing a shove. <laughs> and so, a uh, couple of yellow cards, a couple of slices of cheese handed out to the two offending players. They look like they've shuck hands and got on with things. And so it will eventually be a free kick. Come on. So on the restart, Lucas Diamantopoulos. Will he be the one to get things back underway? We're about to find out. There he is, Diamantopoulos. Flicks it all the way forward, right to the back stick, and what a save! Well, Tariq Masood had the goal begging at his mercy and it was Mason Gluftis just to stand strong, stand his ground and keep Altona North from getting back into this one. Morales. Oh, he's got crowded. Doreen just winning the ball through Fulgrave and eventually... And so talking to and an ensuing yellow card for Mateo Morales. It might have been something he said to the referee that she didn't like. He's certainly uh, stamping his authority as the adjudicator today. And again, well, he's playing this game to the letter as the referee. Launch forward. Oliver Moore, oh, and he caught him late. That looked like it could be a foul. In the meantime, up go Altona North. Morales, good ball inside. Diamantopoulos, and cleared there by Gluftis. Moore. He was a little bit too busy helping his opposite number up after he halved him. He just realised he had a game to play, reminded by his coaches. As Doreen pick up the ball. High it goes. Oh, it's skewed off the boot. That was Sombinopoulos and out for a Doreen United corner. So about five minutes left here. Scores locked at two all. Who's going to stand up and deliver? So Mason Saita from the corner. Who will be the target? Here it goes. Well, he hasn't got all of that one. Just too much angle on the corner kick, and that's gone straight out for Maltona North goal kick. George, 
So Altona with the substitution. Danny Kristevsi on for Destin Mamishi. And play resumes. Good spin there. Lovely piece of play by Lucas Diamantopoulos. He picks up the ball and goes again. Launches it high. Flicked on. Ball towards Morales. Well cleared by Fulgrave. Had to be there. Diamantopoulos. Morales touches down. Gets round one. Still going. Eventually cleared by Doreen, but can only punch it forward and find a navy blue shirt. Fulgrave, that's a handy ball around the corner. That was the right idea there by Moore. And sliding tackle. Uh, just a bit of kick and run tactic here by Doreen United, just asking a bit out of number 23, Oliver Moore. So you'd have to say if this game ended 2 all, it'd probably be a fair reflection of the game so far. Altona North, probably with more of the ball, probably the better of the chances, but Doreen with a real fighting spirit that has to be admired is the man who kept the side right back in the game with the most recent goal. But here goes Altona, big sliding tackle and flick down the line. That's rebounded off Kristevsky and green shirts swarming forward. Corner kick here for Doreen United coming up. We're about to see if they can clutch up just a couple of minutes left here in this barn burning contest on field five at Shepparton and Sports City. Just one of a host of absolute bumper clashes we've seen throughout the AFS Shepparton Cup. Here comes the ball in. It's not the worst ball, cleared off the line and unable to be poked home by a green shirt. Keenan now with the shot, parried away. Still on goal, oh, it's flicked off the crossbar. All the Doreen United players and coaching staff sink to their knees. What a chance. What an end to this game. It's really starting to get vocal here. Up goes the ball. Saita. Still going. He's cleaned up. Morales already on a yellow. Just pushing his luck a touch. So... A little bit of late tactics here from both coaches. Mason Saita, he's going to look to line this one up. Now, if the ball could find the back of the net here, it would be absolute elation for the side in green. Yet to win a game yet. It's off the head. And another free kick. Ronald Anthony Pillai, the offender in this case, striking his arm. That's a great strike. Oh, hit off the line. Cruiser Pap had to be alert. And that one looked for all money like it was going to rustle in the top corner. Cruiser Pap said no. Ball over the top. Bouncing. Oh, it's gone off the post. And out for a goal kick. Well, it's all action stations here. Drama down to the very wire. Not everything needs to go long, yeah? Keanu, open up. Open up. Sizmanovic, high ball down the line. Not the worst idea, just to alleviate some pressure. Altona North under the cosh for the last five or so minutes, and there's really not long left in this one. Here they go. Saita, can't find a green shirt. Here they go. Oh, it's bouncing around. <laughs> Bounces off the head of Fulgrave eventually. That one's cleared by Anthony Pilai. And now Morales. He's a tricky little customer. That's a great tackle there by Mason Saita. Still going. Fulgrave with the nutmeg. Still going. Oh, just a touch too much. And Suzmanovic was across to clear. Well, what a finish to this game we've witnessed so far. Has, well, should I say, is there a late twist in the tail? And with that, brings it close to this classic between Doreen United and Altona North SC in the under-10 Copper Division. This one's finished 2-all. It was action right down till the very end. 
Thanks very much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.